Throughout the years, there has been many diet fads that have come and gone. A diet that has continued to be successful when committed to fully is the ketogenic diet. The keto diet incorporates a high fat to low carb ratio intake. What a lot of people don't understand on keto is the scientific reasoning behind it and why it works so well. So the easiest way to explain it is when you eat something that is high in carbs, your body naturally produces insulin along with glucose. You lower the amount of carbohydrates that you're eating, your body doesn't produce as much glucose. And because of this, your body is thrown into a state, a natural state, known as ketosis. During ketosis, your body creates ketones, which are the breakdown of fats within the liver. The end goal of a properly maintained keto diet is to force your body into this ketosis stage. And people on keto do not do this by starving themselves of food. It's just starving your body of the excess carbohydrates that you really don't need. Our bodies are incredibly adaptive to what we put into it. So if we cut out the carbs even by 20 grams and then add on an abundant amount of fats, then your body is going to be thrown into ketosis and this is going to cause you to lose weight. And it also has many physical, mental, all different sorts of health benefits that goes along with it. So the easiest way to show you what goes on in keto is to give you a glimpse of the life in keto. So what I'm going to show you guys is a normal breakfast, lunch, and dinner meal that you would have when doing keto. A breakfast that I have a lot on keto is keto pancakes. So the ingredients that you're going to need for these are coconut flour, three eggs, vanilla extract, butter, not uh, margarine, but butter, and then heavy whipping cream, salt to taste, so it doesn't really matter how much you put in, two packs of stevia, and then baking powder. You want to wait until it gets a batter-like consistency. If it's too thick, then you can always add water to it to uh, make it more runny. All right, so our keto pancake is done. As you can see, the keto foods don't look that much different than the other foods. So this has over less than half of the carbohydrates that a normal pancake would have. So a food that I make along with the keto pancakes is turkey bacon. You can do the normal bacon as well because both have a good amount of fat in them, but the um, turkey bacon just has more protein. So normally I use that instead. So you're just gonna grease your pan and then put that turkey bacon in there. Okay, so our keto breakfast is now done. We have some turkey bacon with the keto pancake. Butter is a huge part of keto. It contains a lot of fat, so the more butter that you eat and the more butter that you can add to your meals, the quicker you're gonna be thrown into ketosis. One of my favorite lunches to make on keto is the hamburger patty. It's super easy and you just throw some cheese and some... Once the hamburger is cooked all the way, I like to put some cheese on there. And then put the lid on so that it gets all melted. Once the cheese is all melted, you put it right in there and bon appetit. That's a keto lunch. Since starting keto, I've had a lot more energy and I play outside with Lou every day when she cooperates. Come here. Come on. Here. Before I started keto, I weighed in at 158 pounds or it was closer. I think it was closer to 160 and then I'm down to 138 right now. And we started doing keto around the beginning of February. My favorite part about keto is how most people feel deprived when they diet. And I never really felt like this at all because there's a lot of substitutes for if you have like a sweet tooth or if you're really craving something. There's a lot of ways to make something keto friendly. And Morgan and I are pretty good about finding recipes on Pinterest or on the internet so that we wouldn't have cheated. <laughs> for lunch on keto, I normally have um, a couple brats and hard-boiled eggs 
And I always try to drink a Powerade Zero with most of my meals, that or the sugar-free, zero-calorie monsters. So before doing keto, I was really quick to go through like McDonald's or Taco Bell or something, or just eat whatever was handy. And since starting keto, I've realized how hard it is on your body to process those foods because if I eat McDonald's now or any kind of fast food, I, it almost makes me feel sick because it's not good for you at all. And I never would have used to think that because I was going there like a couple times a week probably. So even like right now I'm not religiously doing keto as much as I was, but I can still tell a difference if I try to eat something that isn't keto friendly. I'll usually still feel sick after I do it. So since I work at American Eagle, I'm pretty much trying clothes on like every shift that I work. And when I was my heaviest, I was wearing a size 12 jeans and usually buying larger extra large shirts. And just recently I got into a size six jeans and I'm starting to fit into smalls again, which is huge for me because all of high school, I was weighing in at like 115 pounds, 120 pounds, and I was wearing like size two and four jeans. So getting up to a 12 was super disheartening. So being back to a healthy size is a really good feeling. So a great thing to make for dinner on keto is definitely steak. That's one of my favorite meals on keto and it's pretty easy to make. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is melt about a tablespoon of butter in there. So what I usually marinate the steaks with are whatever steak seasoning, some pepper, and some garlic salt. So it's up to you whether you put a pan on it or not, but usually I put a pan on it just so it gets <coughs> cooked evenly. So after it cooks for a few minutes, you want to cook or you want to flip it over so it doesn't get burnt. So what you do whenever you think the steak's almost done, <clears throat> just take your knife and cut into it. Make sure it looks done. Morgan always likes hers medium rare, so that's what this one is. And then for some extra fat, you can always take more butter. I always do this and melt it on the top. Just set it on the top and then put your lid back on and it'll melt perfectly. Since starting keto, I have been drinking protein shakes in the morning for my breakfast because typically I don't have time to eat anything else until lunch. Since starting keto, I have realized that my favorite food that is high in fat that is needed on this diet would definitely be steak but it's quite expensive. I would definitely say keto is more expensive than normal eating, but I feel like it is more nutritious and gives you a lot more than your regular eating habits would. Normally, a lunch on keto, I pack some type of meat or salad with some cottage cheese. For fast food options, I usually go to Subway and get a cold cut salad with veggies and sauces that are 
able to be eaten on keto. Starting keto two months ago, I have lost 25 pounds since I started. I've lost three inches off my waist size and I have also lost a shirt size, but I've stayed the same on sweatpants. And my favorite part about keto is I feel like it gives me more energy and because of that I have picked up a second job in the morning starting at four o'clock until eight and then afterwards I go to my usual full-time job from eight until five. The ketogenic diet is a lifestyle that has continued to be successful for people who commit to it fully. Keto has changed my perspective on my health and has made me care more about my physique.